Dawn breaks. We stayed up all night again. Finding drowsiness, I refill my mug with instant coffee. I've already lost count of how many I've had. Okabe. Because her hands her mug to me without looking away from the computer. I guess she expects me to refill it. <laughs> Since when did I become her maid? She should ask my Yuri for stuff like this. My Yuri is a professional maid after all. No, we are now her assistant. That said, Curse is the one reading certain documents right now. Dara and I can manage if we use translation software, but we're nowhere near as efficient as she is. That's not exactly what I had in mind when I said I wanted to borrow her knowledge. It just goes to show that I was right to make her a lab mem. She's an asset to the lab, for now at least. I should try not to upset her. Suddenly take the mug from Curry Sue, dump in the powdered coffee, and pour in hot water from the pot. Two packets of sugar, no milk, disgusting. Curry Sue's already requested it the same way five times today. No milk, pathetic. I mix it well and bring it over to Curry Sue. She doesn't immediately realize I'm standing behind her, so I hold the mug in front of her face. Takes it without turning. Thanks. Ryzen never leave the screen. She's completely absorbed in CERN's research. Even though she was adamant when she called them traitors to scientists everywhere, she's not about picking their brains. Well, I mean, of course, what better knowledge to defeat CERN with than their own? I understand how she feels. I'm itching to know more myself. Dar was fast asleep on the sofa. This snoring is quite loud. Furthermore, it sounds like he has sleep apnea. That's unfortunate. I'm surprised Curse has been able to ignore it. She's just that focused? I decide to watch some TV. As always, the news channels are all covering the Radicon satellite crash. Hasn't it been like a week or two? Jesus. Five days have passed since the satellite crash, and with the start of summer vacation season, crowds are gathering to get a glimpse of the satellite, which still has not been removed. And no one's gone? Like, no... Jackasses have gone in to like look at it on illegally or, or whatever. No one. I came from Nagoya. I wanted to see it. I drove all the way from Saitama. It's amazing. Where did that thing come from? Yay! I'm a high school girl from Chiba. Tourists from all over Japan are flocking to this location. In an interview earlier today, Michael Byrne, spokesman of NASA, stated that no satellite had crashed in Japan, and that the crashed object was in fact not even a satellite. Really? Really, NASA? I mean, okay, first of all, we know it's not a satellite. <laughs> Let, let's be honest here, we know it's not a satellite. But second of all, NASA would really just say, oh yeah, it's, it's that's definitely not a satellite. We don't know what that is. Government didn't pay us to, to, to tell you that it was, so good luck with whatever that thing is. <laughs> Ugh. Hard time warrior. Hungry. I'm so hungry. I had a breakfast again today. I don't have much money on hand. Are there any good places to find insects or weeds around here? I can get by using my survival skills if I have to- What? What? Hardcore? What kind of childhood did you fucking have, part-time warrior? What the hell? What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> The satellite is currently under police investigation. No date for removal has been set. Is it really under investigation? <laughs> this could be another plot by the organiz- <laughs> Good morning! Oh wait, should I say good afternoon? Door unlocks from the outside, my ear comes in. She has a convenience store bag in her hand. There are various food items inside, but it doesn't look like they're for us. Wow! The air in here is so thick. Don't open the window. Don't open the window. Don't open the window. Three of us probably look pretty haggard since we stayed up all night. It's hard to put on a bright smile now that I know about CERN. I refresh the air. Don't do it. Don't do it. My ear opens the window wide. The sky is so blue it hurts my eyes. Large clouds lift, listlessly drift on the wind. Don't open the window. Close it. Close it. It truly is a refreshing sight. My Yuri's appearance makes Daru get up with a grimace. Kirisu also finally moves away from the computer, sipping her hot coffee while rubbing her eyes. Y you could take a nap where, <laughs> where Daru just was. I glance at the clock, then go to the center of the room to call her attention. Since all lab mems are present and accounted for, this is the perfect opportunity to hold another round table conference with the window wide open! 
wound about confluence. What's that? A meeting of lab mems. Have we ever done that before? Do you even have a round table? Not physically. However, it exists in the hearts of all lab mems. Am I mistaken? You had a, a, a meeting like this before? Yes, you're mistaken. Don't go sticking things in people's hearts. Is there one in Maishi too? Of course there is. Oh, that's good. What's a roundable? And why a round table? You King Arthur? I'm only a temporary lab. I'm only a temporary lab mem anyway. These people whine about every little thing. Just get over here and fucking whatever. Anyway, it's round table conference. Myri wasn't here last night, so first, let's explain the situation to her. I really don't think that's a good idea. I really, really don't think that's a good idea. You probably should just send Mayuri home and say, Mayuri, I'm sorry. You you can't be involved in this. Because that that's what I would do. I would not involve Mayuri in this at all. Regardless of the fact that she is a lab mem. I would refuse to let her be a part of this. And tell Mayuri about everything we discovered in her absence. Why? About how Sona's making a time machine. About Jellyman. About how men in black might be coming to erase us for what we know. Why would you tell her then? Don't don't scare this little girl. I know she's like 17, but Jesus Christ. I told you you shouldn't do bad things. <laughs> bad, you say? We are bad? Absurd. If we're bad, then CERN is even worse. They aren't satisfied with ruling the world. Now they want to get their hands on space-time itself. I agree. For some reason, Curiouser backs me up. What CERN is doing is unforgivable. They're traitors to humanity, to society, and to science. I guess... She doesn't sound convinced. I, I wouldn't be either! Don't have her be a part of this! What kind of more are you? I didn't want to get Mayuri involved, but she's surprisingly perceptive. She'd find out even if we kept it a secret. So it's better to just tell her, I guess so. Anyway, Ragnarok can no longer be averted. The final battle with CERN is near. Large part of me is still afraid, but we've come too far to turn back now. We can't unlearn what we know. Well, people would disagree. Ragnarok? Norse mythology? Norse mythology again? Christina! I ordered you to investigate CERN! What have you learned? I don't remember being ordered. Whatever. There are two problems CERN faces with time travel. First is the electron ejection device, also known as a lifter. Unless they get it to function properly, they can't make the curved black hole of singularities naked. If you send a test subject through the singularity in its current state, the supergravity compresses them to the micro level. Naturally, there's no way to survive. The second problem is that they can't specify a physical location. They can't choose whether they end up in trap. The second problem is that they can't specify a physical destination. They can't choose where they end up after traveling to the past. That's why I'd say... That's why I'd say the 14 found jellymen were the lucky ones. Over a hundred human experiments have been performed since 2001. The remaining 80 or so people ended up somewhere that can't be found. Why can't they be found? Didn't you know, Mayushi? The world is constantly moving. Its rotation speed is 100, uh, 1,500 kph. Its orbital speed is 114,000... Darius Tony is authoritative, but he's just relaying what he heard from Curiouser last night. CERN has been looking for solutions, but it's not going well. <coughs> I'm surprised you remember that. So, even CERN is having difficulties. Now then, have you learned anything that could help us complete the phone wave named TVA? Uh... Chris just stares at the ceiling and thought. Well, I suppose you could call the LHC the world's largest microwave oven. <laughs> of course! In other words, the phone wave named TBA is a miniature LHC. He might be onto something there. I was sure she'd deny it. In fact, I thought she'd yell at me. But instead, she agreed with me. It throws me off a little. However, there are too many things we don't know about the phone wave. 
Why did the same phenomena that occur in Saren's time machine also occur in that tiny little microwave? Unlike the LHC, this thing wasn't made for time travel. It was made to one Mayushi's chicken! Wh well, yeah. Since the Jellyman phenomenon occurs with a phone wave named TBA, Myers Bananas must be reaching the Kerr Black Hole's ring singularity. It makes a black hole? Here? It won't suck us in, will it? If it sucked us in, we'd become Jellyman too. <laughs> yeah, that's a... We still haven't figured out the electrical discharge phenomenon, or the conditions required to cause it. During our experiments earlier, we were only able to send emails to the past during the discharge. Although it hasn't happened again, that discharge phenomenon could very well signify the injection charge, that is, electrons. And only when it occurs does the path to the singularity open. We don't know the cause of the discharge phenomenon. That's what we need to find out. In the first place, the emails we are sending to the past are digital data, not physical objects. That's a definite difference from CERN's time machine. No, we're doing the same thing. Who's to say that digital data can't go through a singularity? I think it would be easier than sending something human-sized. Well, I suppose that's true. You know, the way you guys talk about email, it makes me think of folding a letter into a paper airplane, making go zoom, you know? It's more like a beam of light, like optical digital data. By the way, it's a pain to keep saying email sent to the past. Let's give it a proper name. Oh, yes! I've got a bad feeling about this. What's that supposed to mean? You dare mark Hoin Kyoma! You just want to give it some oddball name, don't you? <laughs> How rude. Heed me. I shall name the phenomenon of email sent to the past as follows. The name shall be... Nostalgia Drive! Confusing. Rejected. Why you? Who gave you the authority to reject my ideas? You're just an assistant. Then why don't we take a vote? All in favor of Nostalgia Drive. <laughs> my hand shoots into the air. Nobody follows suit. Have you forsaken me, Daru? My Yuri? Chris Chan's right. Too hard for Mayushi to remember. It's way too chuny, man. Traitors! Fine. Fine. Then let's hear alternatives. Don't tell me you rejected my idea without having bright ideas of your own. I think it needs to be something easy to understand. It's an email that regresses through time. So how about retro mail? What does retro mean? Myra is beating, busy eating strawberry jelly. How can she eat that stuff after hearing about jelly men? That's a good question, but it's Mayuri. Sounds like you have your answer, Christina. You said it should be easy to understand. It wasn't too easy to understand at all, was it? But, but that's because Mayuri san is. What, what, what about Mayuri? Uh, n n never mind. <laughs> uh, I have mail. I'll read it later. Were you about to say because my Yuri's dumb? Uh, no. Eh? Christian, do you think my Yushi's dumb? I don't. I promise I don't, okay? Somehow, Curry managed to glare at me even while soothing my Yuri. <laughs> uh, payback. I vote the male who left through time. That's too stiff. Too hard to say. It's better than your nostalgic expedientious nonsense. And one makes a movie title reference. That's not cool. It needs to be cool. You're rejecting it for that? Do do do! My Yushi has an idea. How about back to the mail? I took a movie title and changed the word to mail. I already did the movie joke, my Yushi-san. Besides, I think the meaning is a little off. She probably meant mail to the future, but our emails go to the past. It's not about the meaning. I took a movie title and changed the word to mail. <laughs> Either way, it's too long. Then how... Then how about DeLorean mail? 
That doesn't even say what kind of email it is. Hey, we don't have time for this nonsense. Let's just review to D-mail and move on. I thought it was dimensional mail, but I guess the Lord mail, D-mail. <laughs> hmm, that's boring. It don't, I don't care. It don't care if it's boring. You're right, you are right. D-mail doesn't care if D-mail's boring because D-mail can't think. Shot down. Carissa's influence in the lab seems to have grown significantly these past few days. D-mail it is! Mayuri finished with the jelly, proclaims in satisfaction. Wait, when did Mayuri become the moderator? When you declared her? So why does the D-mail phenomenon occur? Because the path through the ring singularity is open. We've been over this already. We don't know if there's an actual black hole at work here. It could be an entirely different phenomenon that just happens to resemble CERN's experiments. It's dangerous to jump to conclusions. Why so timid? Don't you want our time travel experiments to succeed? That's why we have put our lines on the line to hack CERN! We need to figure out... What we need to figure out is how to turn the phone wave name TBA into a usual time, usable time machine. Do you really think that's possible? There is no think, only do! What? Do you read that off a motivational poster? You're like the classic incompetent boss. Damn you! You dare insult an insane mad scientist, Hoin Kyoma! Well, it's not like Okurin's the boss anyway. Indeed. I am the symbol of this lab, not the boss. I don't know what you mean by symbol. But how do you plan to turn the phone wave into a time machine? Let's have details. My plan... Alright, there is one thing. We've been thinking about the electrical discharge happens at random. We've been thinking that the electrical discharge ha happens at random, but I have a hypothesis. Which is? Like my watch, it's past noon. Recall the conditions when it occurred, Christina. We experimented through the night with no results, but there's one variable we overlooked, the simplest, most definitive variable of all. That is the time of the occurrence. Ah. I checked the times of the two previous occurrences. When I accidentally sent the first email to Dara's phone, it happened between noon and 1pm. The second time, when all four of us observed the email, was at 6pm. So, if you perform the experiment within that time frame, we might be able to reproduce the effect. Uh, let's try right now! Give me a second, I gotta read from Part-Time Warrior. You don't wanna know, hell <laughs> I'm out. You know? You're not wrong, you are not wrong. Cursor bolts into the development room, suddenly bursting with enthusiasm. Well, I'm glad to see she has her priorities straight. <laughs> Mayushi's banana supply is getting low. Gotta buy more. Ahem! I believe Kurisu offered. Only one banana remains untouched. We got rid of the jellified bananas, and now that we ate the rest... Sorry, Mayuri-san. I'll go buy you some new bananas later. Oh, really? Yay! Oh, Kurin and Dara could eat my bananas, but they never buy new ones. I'll be sure to amend that in the future. A bunch of bananas is a small price to pay in order to bring chaos to the world. Kurisu picks the last banana off the stem, leans under the table, and places it inside the microwave. So, this should, in turn, result in the banana going back to the stem, yes? Even though the stem is just... not really even... How would that even... It'd probably go into the floor unless someone was holding the stem in the air? Because, obviously, there's nothing underneath the stem to keep it up, so... It's probably gonna mold into a table or something. First, let's see if it'll become a jelly man. Ah! She tries to get up and gloriously bangs her head underneath the table. Trying for the clumsy girl appeal. It was an accident! Kirsty gets up, blushing in embarrassment with tears in her eyes. Put the microwave somewhere else. It's dangerous and hard to reach like this. It'll punch through the floor if we put it on the table. Christian, Christian, pain, pain, go away. 
Mary pats the back of Curie's head, then sweeps her hand through her hair, through the air. Thanks, Mayuri san. <laughs> uh, Mayuri. Curie pulls herself together, taps on her phone, and activates the phone wave named TBA. Banana inside the microwave slowly begins to spin backwards as the timer counts down. Uh. Ah! Kurisu, who is peering into the microwave, suddenly shouts in surprise. Banana has vanished. At the exact movement, at the exact moment, Banana reappears on its stem, jellified. Part of something else, apparently, because so no one was holding that stem. Whoa! It became a gel nana. <laughs> Just as I suspected, the critical variable was time. I was a little anxious about the result, but it all worked out. I outwitted the impertinent genius girl. Now I'm positioned as symbol of the lab is secure. What? Way to go, Okabe. It was so simple, I didn't notice it. Chris says with a slightly sulky expression. Your praise does you credit, Christina, but I know you're frustrated you didn't think of it first! <laughs> anyway, let's see if we can send another D-mail. <coughs> Curse, who ignores my proud laughter and excitedly starts typing out a mail. Uh, I feel like my authority has been on the decline since that girl showed up. It's cool, man. You never had any to begin with. <laughs> uh... Help me, you two. Okay, I'm sending you an email to your phone. Why don't I become a resistant? Grind my teeth in frustration. Do as I'm told and insert my phone into the phone wave. Name TBA slot. What are you gonna send, Chris chan Mary presses up against Curry and sneaks a peek at Curry's phone. It doesn't matter what it says. What matters is whether we can send it or not. Huh? Let me see. Okabe is an airhead. Wait! You there, assistant! What are you typing? You'll see. Ready? I'm sending it. <laughs> Dara's already sent the microwave's timer through the X68000. There's nothing inside, but the microwave still operates. Countdown starts from 120. So it should go two minutes into the past. This is where the timing counts. We know that we have to open the microwave door during operation. We still don't know when to send the mail. Wait, 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 what? Hold on, though. Wait. But why do you have to open the microwave? I understand that's to send the mail, but the banana... Oh! Oh! I understand. The banana can be sent because it's already inside the microwave. We have to open the microwave so that the signal can be sent inside? That doesn't really make sense. I guess it's so the singularity can reach the, the data of the phone. I guess that kind of makes some sense. Whatever. We know that the, we have to open the microwave door during operation. We still don't know when to send the mail. For now, we'll do them simultaneously. Grace, you raise your finger on the phone send button. And grasp the microwave's door handle. My hurry seeks cover. <laughs> yeah, that's... Starting the countdown! The microwave timer soon indicates 70. 3, 2, 1, 0... Curse, you press the send, and at nearly the same instant, I open the microwave door. Here we go! Ah! <laughs> it's working! It's working, you guys! Lightning crackles in the air. Cushion underneath the phone wave named TBA collapses under the weight. The cushion collapsed? The floor starts creaking. Oh. Oh! Oh, this is what I oh no, I got things from the anime wrong again. What a surprise. It's exactly like the discharge phenomenon that occurred before. Discharge lasts for about 10 seconds. After it subsides, we stare at the phone wave named TBA with bated breath. Luckily, it didn't break through the floor. <laughs> Maybe I didn't get it wrong. Did it arrive? Did it arrive? Disconnect my phone from the phone wave. Name TBA and check my mail. Well, it didn't show up two minutes ago. There's a stands beside me and appears at the screen. What? What? 
But that's like a month ago, or like four or five days ago. Oh, Kabeez. <laughs> There's an email there, two of them, even. And they're written in English. Timestamps are from five days ago. <laughs> Chris starts laughing when she sees the mail, even though she's the one who wrote it. The Oka Bay, and the first one is obviously my name. <sighs> what does Airhead and the second one mean? English is shaky. Is she saying my head can fly or something? Whatever. May not know what it means, but I do know this. My assistant is making fun of me. That doesn't matter right now. Well, that's in from the anime. In the in the anime, she's like, "Oh, Airhead, it's a compliment in America." And Okabe's like, "Oh, really? Huh? Well, thank you." And then later, he's like, "Wait a second, that's not a compliment. That was an insult." Christina, did you send two mails? Eh? No, I only sent one. My Yushi saw two. She really only sent one. But I received two. You're right. I even said it in one sentence, but it got divided. By the way, what does this word mean? Why don't you look it up? I guess she doesn't want to answer. That reminds me, the d from before was kind of mid-sentence too. Was it? Yeah, look at your history. I'm pretty sure I sent Okurin's a perv. You could also go ahead and look at uh, Daru, Daru's phone about yours. Irv. <laughs> Okabeza puh. You're right. This one got split too. I wonder what's causing it. Maybe it's related to the Jellymen. Um, maybe she wants to know why it arrived five days ago. Good point. Didn't the last one also arrive five days before we sent it? Yeah, it did. Is there some kind of rule for when it arrives? Two minutes is five days? Let's try sending more! Mayuri's right. Now that we figured out how to send emails, we should keep experimenting and collect as much data as we can. Alright! Lab Mems Battle Stations! He's at it again. Our mission! To send as many D-mails as possible before the floor breaks. Daru, man the X68000. Your job is to observe, adjust, and gather information on the phone wave named TBA. Assistant, keep those mails coming. Try various patterns of text. Japanese, English, full width, half width, emoticons. The actual messages don't matter. Sure, Shining Finger would be better for the job, but since she's not a lab man, I'll leave it to Curry Sue. What about Mayushi? Your mission is to go shopping. Just buy some bananas for now. I, Hoin Kyoma, shall fund you. Wow, you're so generous. So I guess your job is opening the microwave. Whoa, you saved the easiest job for yourself? I wouldn't call it the easiest. <laughs> no, my assistant's judgment is sound. The key to a successful email is most likely the correct timing of opening the microwave door. Uh, I was just kidding. <laughs> Leave this task to Hoin Kiyoma. I shall open the door with precision, boldness, and delicacy, as if it were the flesh of a beautiful woman. Oh, Karin, that's naughty. Furthermore, the current operation is top secret. You must not leak it to anyone. Got it, Mayuri? Mayuri nods. The others are ignoring me. Now I shall give this operation a name. It shall be known as Op. Windows open, by the way. Don't need one. Let's start. Door Windows open, by the way. Still open. Ben open. W but you ruined my climactic scene. Damn your assistant. This is an outrage. <laughs> 